Hello, everyone. My name is Kang Zhu Heng, and today I will introduce my project, Piano Tuning Method. Here is the outline. Why piano tuning is very hard work is because the piano string is usually considered to be a stick or a bar rather than a pure ideal string. It contains the stiffness and its overtone will shape in such a way that make the piano tuning a very difficult work. And in my project, I will introduce two types of piano tuning method. The traditional method and the modern entropy tuning method. The traditional tuning method is to match the specific frequency picks that aim at largely eliminating the bit that caused the concaveness. From this point, we will build some models. From the picture on the bottom, we could see frequency picks is not always lies on the grid, and this is called inharmonicity which is caused by the stiffness of the piano strings. So, we will model these features for all the strings or piano keys. After some transformation, we could get a bunch of values for inharmonicity. From the plot in the middle, we could see there are two lines. The left part is the bass part, and the right part is the tenor part which is shown on the picture above because the left-hand side strings are covered with copper but the right-hand side strings are pure steel which has two types of stiffness. Then we could get the model for inharmonic city which shows the overtone shift characteristics. Then we could use the frequency picks matching method that can help us to tune the piano. Since the overtone will shift, we could create a curve that could eliminate the pitch deviation. The curve in this program is defined by the polynomial with the highest order of 7. Since the frequency picks of matching create some deviations, and these deviations subtract the tuning curve that we could get difference between the curve and differences. And then we use linear regression method to minimize this effect. And then the tuning curve was born. The second method is the entropy tuning method. And this method simulates to press all the keys and then to minimize the entropy for the pitch domain spectrum when frequency pitches are more appear to be merged, the entropy of them will be smaller. So this method could help us tune the piano with merged picks to a large extent. And the picture below shows the frequency picks that all the piano keys are pressed. Then we randomly tune one key. When the entropy goes down, it keeps Otherwise, it abandoned. And finally, through many times of tuning, we could get the piano curve for the entropy piano tuning method. After getting these curves, we could calculate the tuning table, which shows each frequency and its overtones for each piano keys. This tuning table is considered to be a tuning strategy, which guide us to tune the piano. And then we will have two audio demos for the traditional tuning method and the entropy tuning method, respectively.
from this two demo, we could hear entropy piano tuning method can achieve more clear and sharp sound. But traditional method is okay, but the sound is not clear enough. Then, I built a pure piano tuner, which used the audio processing method to eliminate the inharmonicity effect. Through this project, we would know the traditional tuning method is okay, but entropy tuning method is better. Thank you for listening.